Good morning students. Today's video is very interesting and very informative about the types of learning that you are going to have in financial econometrics course and what is the outcome of any of the modules for that matter. What could be the questions at the end of the units, how to answer those questions, evaluation rubrics and obviously the detailed feedback to you. So listen carefully and you can revisit this video since it is with you. Now, this particular course is completely end term or mid term exam less. So, there is no end term exam, there is no mid term exam. There are ideally 3 to 4 CIAs which are project based, and each of the projects are based on either one unit or combination of two units so we have five units and we have three cias so obviously either one unit will produce one cia or two units will produce one cia that detail will be given at the beginning of the unit every unit for that matter so there are two types of learning first type of learning is called synchronous learning which will happen in the google meet class so I'll be taking Google Meet class on a timetable which is specified by the university. And in that class, whatever is going to happen is called synchronous learning. Details are given in the class and questions will be attended in the class and all the questions will be answered in the class. In fact, live I will use softwares to show you how to do the work, how to do the data crunching, how to do the interpretation, everything will be done live. However, there are two types of learners. Ones are quick learners and ones are not so quick learners. So for quick learners, it is very easy to understand. So they may be finding it helpful. But for students like me, when I was a student, I was not so quick learner. So I was a slow learner. So for my type of students, I have prepared small, small videos ranging from 3 minutes to 11 minutes duration. Those videos will be given at the end of either one class or maybe two sessions and those videos will stay with you and you can see those videos n number of times, repeat those videos, play those videos from the middle so that your learning becomes sound and strong. That is called asynchronous type of learning. Apart from that, you can also see some other videos which I wanted to show you. So you can see this kind of videos. This gentleman is uh, called Ben Lambat. You can see here Ben Lambat, his videos in Econometrics, in YouTube, all are free. Or you can see the videos of this Keynes Academy. So Keynes Academy or Ben Lambat, these are recommended for you for the asynchronous type of learning so that you learn completely confidently and without any hesitation so what is the outcome of this module end of the module you will understand the theoretical premise of econometrics in fact more so financial econometrics you will understand what is the what are the Assumptions of OLS, Ordinary Least Square Regression. You will understand what is homoscedasticity, what is heteroscedasticity. How does it impact at all? You will understand the concepts of hypothesis testing. How to test hypothesis, how to make hypothesis, how to test it empirically. You can also understand, you will be also able to understand the concept of right tail, left tail, total tail, what is a Gaussian distribution which normal people call as normal distribution, what is a non-Gaussian distribution, then different types of distribution like mesocartic, platycartic, leptocartic, what are their implications. You will also understand in this module what is the concept of normality, how normality is important, how non-normal deviations are important in finance, all those things you will understand at the end. So that is the outcome of this module. So this is what you are going to learn and you are going to empirically learn, not only theoretically learn, 
you are going to empirically learn so tomorrow if anybody ask you can you prove it mathematically can you prove it with the help of numbers you will be able to prove all these parameters which i told just now with the help of numbers then question at the end of the unit either it is end of one unit or it is at the end of two units because we have five units and we have three cis how to answer those questions those questions will be given pretty directly with all the detailed information will be given there like say from where will you get the data how will you download the data what should be your objective what is the main problem research problem what is the research gap how to do literature review how to get some adequate and correct literature for that then how to ultimately use some technique which you have learnt in the module to use and to finally get the answer the evaluation rubrics will also be given with the question in detail where it will be mentioned exactly what are the good points you have answered what are the shortcomings where you can improve yourself apart from that i generally prefer a one to one feedback so i write per student per registration number feedback and give it to each student either handwritten or on online since we are completely taking all the sessions online so this time it will be completely online so this is what was my agenda to tell you we have not started the course yet we have just started the initial part of the course so i wanted to clear all the clouds regarding this and i will be happy to take any answer if you have answers when i will be taking the google meet classes that point of time in the chat box you can post all your answers i will be more than happy to answer you so that there is complete clarity and there is no question of ambiguity uh, in your mind and your outcome of each module are clear to you you exactly know what you are going to do at the end of the module what you are learning at end of the module and your cias are transparent to the ultimate level thank you very much for listening